Welcome to the Great Loop Aboard the Perch. This is leg 15 and this took place on April 10th. Today we are going from Myrtle Beach Yacht Club in Little River, South Carolina to Southport, North Carolina, which is a looper favorite. So it was a bright sunny day as we were leaving Myrtle Beach Yacht Club, which is in Coquina Harbor. It was low tide as we made our way out of the harbor and into the ICW and the current was actually running in our favor. So as we made our way northward, we were getting an extra push from that current. I'm going to show you a picture in a moment here of a buoy, and you can tell by the way the current's running past it that things are really ripping through here this morning. We are making our way into North Carolina, and that's the state line right there that Google is showing you. The edges of the riverbanks are noticeably more sandy in North Carolina than they were through the low country of South Carolina and Georgia. So instead of that pluff mud, we're now kind of seeing the sandy beach type shorelines on the rivers. And you can see how close we are there to the Atlantic Ocean. Continuing on, the first inlet we came to was the Shalote Inlet, and that is Ocean Island you see there with the flag and some campgrounds in the area. And we'll be coming to another inlet pretty shortly. But in the meantime, Holden Beach was on our starboard side. We were seeing some beautiful fishing boats on our port side. And this is all part of the Cape Fear River through here. That next inlet is Lockwood Follies Inlet. These North Carolina inlets are extremely prone to shoaling. So certainly if you plan to use those inlets, be cautious. They are not necessarily passable for all looper boats. So really exercise extreme caution there and get some current information before attempting to use those inlets. But if you're just sticking to the ICW heading northward on the Great Loop like we were, you should have absolutely no problem through this area. Continuing on, on this Cape Fear River, you will see Oak Island and its lighthouse, and you will also be able to see Baldhead Island and its lighthouse, known as Old Baldy. But we tucked pretty safely into Southport Marina there, and we're ready to enjoy Southport, North Carolina. So a short run for us, just about four hours, 32.2 miles. We had an average speed of about eight knots and maxed just a little bit more than that. So there again is the run, Myrtle Beach Yacht Club in Little River, South Carolina to Southport, North Carolina. It was a great cruising day. Our next run will also be a short one where we will go from Southport to Carolina Beach, so less than 15 miles on that next run. We'll be back soon with that, but in the meantime, check out our Great Loop Lifestyle video that covers Southport because it's another great looping town. Thanks for watching.